Google Pixel 6a, first look. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. It's been less than a month since Google unveiled the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro and placed them on sale. Some customers who had made pre-orders on the day of launch itself are still waiting for their Pixel phones to be received. The Pixel 6's budget version is at least six months away from its official unveiling but the first rendered images of the device have been leaked by Steve Hammerstoffer at OnLeaks, and it gives us a glimpse of what this mid-range device will look like. Right now, you are viewing the Pixel 6a renders, which were recently released, and as you can see the design is very much similar to the regular Pixel 6. Toward the top of the phone's back, there is a camera visor containing two cameras and an LED flash. A hole-punch selfie camera is also present in the front. The bottom of the device contains a USB-C port, a speaker, and a microphone. The dual-tone color design of the 6a is quite likely, although these CAD-based renders cannot confirm that. And the back is obviously going to be made out of glass. It seems like it doesn't have a fingerprint sensor on the outside of the device, which means that the scanner is placed beneath the screen just like the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, where Google recently issued an update in an attempt to improve the scanner's performance issues. Anyway, it will house an in-display fingerprint scanner, one that's hopefully better than the buggy and slow sensor found on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. For the first time in the Pixel A series, there is no headphone jack. Pixel 6a could be the first mid-range Pixel device arriving without a headphone connector if the rendered photos are accurate. I mean all the previously released devices, the Pixel 5a, 4a, and the Pixel 3a all had headphone jacks. In my point of view, the Pixel 6a's size may be the most intriguing aspect of this announcement. In terms of dimensions, the phone is expected to have a somewhat thicker camera bump of 152.2 by 71.8 by 8.7 mm. A 6.2 inch or else a smaller display is also expected in the 6a, compared to the Pixel 6's 158.6 by 74.8 by 8.9 mm dimensions. Compared to the Pixel 5a, which measures 154.9 by 73.7 by 7.6 mm, the Pixel 6a is even smaller. This is wonderful news, given that the size of both the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro has been a common gripe for many. Moving on to the processing power, it is still a question that has not been answered. While Google is eager to tout the 6's custom Tensor chip, it's not certain if the company would either create a low-cost Tensor for the 6A or rely on third-party chips. With no news on a release date as of yet, remember that Google's Pixel 6 and Pro were just introduced last month. So we'll have to wait quite some time before seeing any official images of the Pixel 6a. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.